हेलो एवरीवन गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल सो टुडे वी हैव कम अप विथ समथिंग न्यू एंड टुडे वी विल ट्राई टू रिजोल्व द केस स्टडी सो लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस द केस स्टडी डेनी सीरियसली लव जापानीज फूड सो इन द बिगिनिंग ऑफ टू जीरो टू वन He decided to embark upon a risky venture and opens up a cute little restaurant that sells his three favorite foods: sushi, curry, and ramen. Dennis' dinner is in need of your assistance to help the restaurant stay afloat. The restaurant has captured some very basic data from their few months of operation, but have no idea how to use their data to help them run the business. So here is the problem statement. Denny wants to use the data to answer a few simple question about his customers, especially about their visiting patterns, how much money they have spent, and which menu items are their favorite. So having this deeper connection with his customer will help him deliver a better and more personalized experience for his loyal customers. He plan. Plans on using these insights to help him decide whether he should expand his existing customer loyalty program. Additionally, he needs help to generate some basic data sets so his team can easily inspect the data without needing to use SQL. So here they have given us the three different tables: sales menu and members. So you have uh, see the table view and relationships given over here. member table is connected with sales table by customer id column and then sales table is connected with menu table with product id column and this is the sample <coughs> sample data which is given of all the three tables so now let's go to the ssms so i have created all this table and inserted value into the all these three tables So I will put these scripts in the description box of this video. Now let me see all these three tables data. So this is the sales table, menu table, and member tables respectively. Customer ID, order date, product ID in sales table. Then product ID, product name, and price in menu table and customer id joining date in sorry join date in members table so here first two table has common column is product id and first and third table is common column is customer id so this case study has given us the total 10 distinct queries to resolve but we will try to resolve four five or three four queries into this video and then into next video we will do rest of the queries so let me let me go to the first query what is what is the total amount each customer spent on Uh, restaurant. What is the total amount each customer spent at the restaurant? So, so we require the total amount, right? So price is uh, there inside the menu table, and we also require the customer ID from the <coughs> sales table. so we need to do the join between sales and menu tables so let me do the join select star from sales s inner join menu m on s dot product id is equal to m dot product id now we want 
कस्टमर वाइज टोटल अमाउंट स्पेंट सो डेफिनेटली वी नीड टू यूज दी सम एग्रीकेट फंक्शन एंड वी नीड टू डू ग्रुप बाई विथ कस्टमर आई डी सो लेट मी डू दैट एस डॉट कस्टमर आई डी सम ऑफ एम एम डॉट प्राइस एस टोटल अमाउंट स्पेंट लेट मी डू द ग्रुप बाय एस डॉट कस्टमर आई डी so let me execute the query okay so customer id a has spent total amount 76 on restaurant then customer id b has spent 74 and customer id c has spent 36 so this is the resolution of our first query now let me try to resolve the second query how many days how many days has each customer visited the restaurant so now now let me go again through all the three tables so customer id order date and product id so here we do not require the other two tables because we want customer and order date column only and we need to do the count of order date so that we can specify how many days customer has visited the restaurant so let me write the query select star from sales s s dot customer id count of order date we can give the alias total is visited to restaurant group by s dot customer id now let me execute the query so a has visited 6 <coughs> days all the restaurant b has also visited the 6 days and c has also visited oh, sorry c has visited 3 days so now let me again execute the query so if you see over here a 1 2 3 4 5 6 then b 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 and c 1 2 3 so uh, the answer should be 6 6 3 6 let me again execute 6 6 3 so okay great we have resolved the second problem from the case study now let me go through the third problem what was the first item from the menu purchased by each customer okay so here we require sorry let me execute all the three tables again what was the first item from the menu purchased by each customer so if you go to the a then a has minimum order date is 112021 and uh, product id of a is 1 so we need to go to the product menu table to get the product name so now let me write the query select star from sales s inner join menu m on s dot product id is equal to m dot product id 
now we require s dot customer id m dot product id m dot product name now what is the first item purchased by each customer so here we need to use the row number function this is called several ranking functions so row number over partition partition by each customer means whenever each word is used we need to do partition by that particular column so s dot customer id order by order date so here we want minimum order date means first order date should be come first the next order date should be come as second but we want only first order date so here we do not need to use descending so we can give the alias to this one arcane with this bundle of this code inside the ct select star from cte where rk is equal to 1 now let me first execute this one so here a has let me write first item the order date as well is dot order date so here in front of a one is over here because a has purchased sushi as the first item now let me go to the b b has purchased curry and c has purchased come in now let me execute the query so this is our result now we do not need the rk column so here we need to replace this with cte now let me execute the query okay great so thank you so much we have solved the three questions from this case study rest of the questions we will solve in our next video if you like this video please press the subscribe button and continue to follow my channel thank you